Live on Serum, the evening show at 6. Powered by Rustlin, 100% pure music. Live on Serum, the evening show at 6. Welcome to Live On The Evening Show at 6. I am Prashka with you today and I'm all excited, very, very excited. The reason that I'm stressing out this is we have a musical sensation today with us, with the sketches of Darjeeling and now with Maya. He's done a musical turnover with that. Interviewing him has been a dream come true for me and listening to him has been my favorite part. Well, for now, let's welcome because we have none other than a very special guest with us today. Today, it's Bipul Chetri. Of course, the introduction is already given and yes, you are at Live On The Evening Show at 6. I'm Prashka and we have a very, very special guest with us and we've been like Sunny, trying to get Bipul Dayer to know much more about him. I'm really excited and I hope you are too. You know it's not so kind of a formal show and we try and make it very romantic and entertaining. So let me welcome you to the musical sensation here we have in Kathmandu for now. So Bipul Dayer, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you for having me here. So, how are you feeling? How was your uh, past like days? You did the NMF, then Maya Cook, uh, your whole concert got time. Cost the boy. Fantastic, it was. So, uh, how was it? Uh, we had a great turnout and uh, uh, we had about uh, two sold out shows. It was a How it is like about Sunny performing in Kathmandu? Kathmandu energy is very special. I, uh, uh, I don't know if I can, if I find any other place which has similar energy uh, when I perform. I think mm -hmm. Kathmandu tops it all. Oh, this is, uh, I think, uh, the root, the root of it all. You know? And uh, talking about your the second album, I know, how did Maya come up? Maya, I wrote most of the Maya uh, while I was touring with my first album. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so it happened while I was touring. I needed more songs, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, I only had six songs. So, as I was, you know, thinking about it, so Maya came along. So, I started to write while I was touring and eventually, you know, it became a full length album. Cindy Gets a had released as a single. Uh -huh. And so this, you know, which eventually became part of the uh, my album. Okay. And after the concert, how was the response that that you've got? Because the response found about us, the last so your second album, could say. It's the wrong response, sir. Huh? Oh, uh, yesterday, you don't hear it. Prayer Manchale, they all knew the songs already, mm -hmm. and uh, I was, uh, you know, quite overwhelmed okay. to see that. Okay. Oh, I really wanted to know this point here. You know, so w how like. When do you come up with a lot of songs, a <coughs> lot of lyrics, you know? Uh, how do you get it? You start off just the lakhs, I was like, I was like, how did it, does it come just okay? There are various ways, I don't know, well, frankly speaking, I mean, I, I, I don't know it myself, you know? <laughs> it just comes about. But, uh, it comes as a lyrics, you know? Yeah. Like I comes as a tune. Uh -huh. So I think uh, it's more about just uh, keeping an open mind and you know, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, just tapping on that little bits of ideas that you get and it's, you know, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't work out. Uh -huh. So I think there's not one way that it comes about. Okay. There are like various ways. Yeah, various ways. Yeah. <laughs> I mean like um, your song that I'm going to play up next is Wildfire. Wildfire, what do you have to say about this song? Wildfire, uh, for me, I think this is uh, the most important song for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think uh, if I were to uh, choose a song which best describes me, probably would be Wildfire. Okay. So, yes, as said by Bipul Chetri already, the song that defines him would be Wildfire. Let's go and have a look. Live on Serum, the evening show at 6. 
Welcome back to Live On, the evening show at 6. We're having a good time and I don't want to miss any of the conversation and don't want to like blabber a lot because I really want to hear a lot from people dieting. I mean, uh, one thing that strikes your mind when it comes to music, thank you, what, like, what is music for you? How did it all start? <coughs> and then how did all music start in my life? Yes. Uh, since I was a kid, my father also was a musician. Oh, that's right. But not a full-time musician. Uh -huh. He was a, um, I don't know. I mean, it's just uh, something that just happened naturally, and I didn't know that it was so strongly prevalent in me until I was in college. And, uh huh. And the school map playground on the playground on the day, na. Sunday school music. I, you know, I was quite active in the music scene. Uh huh. Concerts of Mangalore. Ah, there. So I don't know exactly how did it happen. Just. <laughs> It just, it just happened. happened. It just happened, you know. Nothing happened. This, this thing happened. just happened. You know, there's no, <laughs> I can't really tell you exactly how it happened. All right. How was your childhood like? Like, how was it? It's the old days of the songs that have you Like, how does it feel? My childhood was, uh, I guess, um, a very happy childhood. Okay. I had uh, things were relatively simple those days. I, mm -hmm. and I grew up in a small town, Kalimpong. Yeah. Uh, you know, Kalimpong is a is beautiful uh, town, small yes. town, very green. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so uh, probably um, it was very close interaction with nature mm -hmm. at the time. I Hari Puri, we we know we uh, we didn't have internet those days. You know, okay. we had to go and to find ways to entertain ourselves. So I guess um, a very organic, very happy childhood. I was happy about exactly. childhood and mm -hmm. Kalimpong days. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so I was like, uh, do you like how's it go first show? Couldn't say your first stage show. Well, when I was a kid, or when I when you was a kid, um, I think it was in class three. Uh huh. Uh, it was a uh, you know, school go school day. You know. I studied uh -huh. in Saint Augustine schools in Kalimpong, so. and uh, my class teacher, Mr. Justin, he. Uh, uh, gave me an opportunity to sing. Other. And then so and then I sang uh, uh, this song called uh, Buffalo Soldier. Okay, yeah. wow. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was that was, that was the really first special. song. Yeah, I know. First song. And I think it strikes your mind till today. I somebody hope you remember the day. It, well, it does. In, in fact, okay, why on the day? A couple of uh, months back, there was this guy who would come to my show, and he's like. You know, I was, this guy was like, it was in New York, yeah, this guy, um, uh, Ladu Prazu. He was like, uh, I was, you know, he said, you know, when I was in school, I was much senior to you, and he said, like, you know, he had seen me singing Buffalo Buffer Soldier. Soldier. <laughs> like, uh, and he used to wonder where, they, where that kid went. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so he was like, oh shit, now I figure out it's you. <laughs> so, anyway, so. Those are the special memories I was attached to it. Uh, starting from grade three to what you are today, I know. I little, um, I, I, I could feel <coughs> what it was when I was hosting a NMF, and I could see like the craze and everything. How do you feel about it when everybody gives you so much love? You sappe kumaya kulai ki bana channel. Uh, I guess I'm just very, very lucky, and uh, the way I see it is like. Uh, uh, the, the people come to see themselves, mm -hmm. so I think they see themselves in me. Uh -huh. You know, so it's like so there's this connection. Other. And uh, uh, if it hadn't been, you know, mm -hmm. probably I would, you know, I would not exist at all. And I just feel that it's like you know, we are just one at Other. the same time. I and mean, it's quite overwhelming, really. And he, uh, coming to now, our born in Maya and the, uh, like uh, Maya boy, and to sing a Bipulche and the traveling band. You know, coming with the band along, <coughs> how does it like? What is complete soil? It's any, what is different? How how it is like? The new the, the, the second the, album. Ah, sorry. With the I know with the band as you perform. Ni what is Romailo sa? How is the band? How is everything with the band itself? Uh, I have a, 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 a um, talented musicians so mostly. Oh, so. right. Uh, everybody in my band, um, uh, two of them are from Nepal. Yeah. Kiran Nepali is a, a phenomenal Sarangi player from Kutumba band. Uh, Binaya Mateo is a sound engineer, a very young, talented uh, sound engineer. Uh, Pranay Gurung, a guitar Matsha, and Rahul Rai, Shivam, 
Raman. Shivam Raman is there from Delhi, mm -hmm. Nepal. Oh, right. uh, but uh, I have, I'm very lucky to have these guys with me because you know they're very phenomenal, very uh, professional, and uh, and you know they they help me. Uh, uh, you know, perform better on stage. Yeah, yeah. right. As said already, like I mean, the Bipulcheti and the traveling band of Bhuvanarko performance, uh, Maya, like an evening with Bipulcheti, you know, we have featured a little more clips, and I hope you are going to enjoy the glimpse that happened at Tangalwood. Right there for you, live on the evening show at Six Man. Live on Serum, the evening show at Six. All right, I'm really excited for this part because I mean, all, all I wanted to know about people that I've been knowing, but I really wanted to know what his favorites are because he has a lot of fan following and everybody wants to know it, just relax. So, um, through my perspective, I hope everybody is getting their answers. Mm -hmm. I, think. I try, <laughs> right. I try my best. Favorite song of yours? My song? Or Your song. Um, uh, I guess uh, wildfire. Wildfire. And your favorite spot to hang out? In Kathmandu? Um, both. <laughs> spot. Uh, I like Tamil. Okay. And uh, where else? Uh, in India? India. My house. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I heard that you are a very good like, reader. I, I do. Here and there. What's your favorite book? Uh, Well, um, I like Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. Okay. Your favorite actor, actress? Uh, Bollywood. Oh, Bollywood? You can... Uh, Bollywood. Bollywood. I don't watch much of Bollywood, actually. No, Alright, you can say from any, actually. Favorite actor, actress? Actor. Well. I do like Leonardo a lot. Okay. Any act actress? Actress. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Alright. Yeah. I thought we go else my celebrity crush talk to Um Taina. Taina? <laughs> Alright. Your favorite band? Uh just a name. Uh, in Nepal? Yeah. Uh Albatross. Okay. Cadenza. Uh-huh. Cadenza. And your favorite food? Takali food. Takali food. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. Well, that's the favorite things <laughs> I have. I hope I've like Kuntani carried off all the Stalaxa. Uh, well, let's go for a wonderful song and I have another one coming up reacting for like one word. Let's see what he has to say for it. Live on Serum, the evening show at 6. You react on in one word. What does it mean to you? I try, I try. Music. React in sense, I have to say a word. Yeah, a word that's like, that defines music for you. Uh, peace. Maya. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have to react Maya in terms of what? Like, whatever it comes to, just you know, click on it, I'm going to word, but I'm going to say two words and related. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Okay, Maya. People. Stage shows. Uh, excitement. Okay, KTM. Katie in Kathmandu, love. Awards, awards. Awards, uh, awkward. Inspiration. Um, beautiful. Camera. Shy. <laughs> Friends. Friends. Pure. Family. Um, um, forever. All right. I don't have much questions. I'm like, I don't want to ask more. People <laughs> say, I don't want to answer that. But first TV show, man, I don't want to ask him anything more. I want just, I, I really want him to relax and chill, normal questions. So that's the one. But I'm going to give you a lot of time. Like that, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay, that's it. We have a rapid fire, I know. I'll give you rapid fire into the I have just few questions of. Uh, you just need to the big oil some of the craziest fan that you've come across. <coughs> uh, there quite quite a few of them, but uh, this one there was a student college girl uh uh by last year last last year when I was when I was performing Darjeeling. He, mm -hmm. was, he came to the room and then, uh, you know, he came with a couple of his friends. And he was with him and he said, you know, I met him, he's a great fan. Then I went to meet him. Then uh, the first thing I did was he took out his shirt. Okay. 
And then, and then, so he had tattooed his hair. So guys, then in both his thing. Okay. So Amzma, Bujaya Devna, Jolly Rani, Yaman, Pakri Devna, Uri Rani. It was like, I thought that was a really crazy thing yeah, to do. You know? Indeed. So, yeah, indeed. Yeah, that was crazy. All right. Um, um, is there anybody that you would really want to work with in terms of music? Um, I don't know. I'm not. I've not thought about that at the moment. But uh, in the future, yeah, definitely. Who would it be then? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd read your article, Kas is not there, Yeah, Rayman. Oh. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'd read your article. Don't believe all of that. <laughs> okay. So three things no one know about knows about you. The, I don't know. I. Uh, Actually, we really don't know much. That uh, three things uh, nobody knows. Al about me. Oh. Only three. That uh, that I don't like too much crowd. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It's so difficult thing to. That say. you're very shy. Probably that's quite obvious now. <laughs> and the next one. The next one. Uh, I'm a very simple person. Yeah. And he's a very down to earth person. My dad got it. Everybody knows that. We rapid fire with it, but we were like explaining a lot. And so you think my you I've got the answer, but I really wanted to ask how much is St. Augustine School like close to your heart? It is I think every school is very close mm. to their hearts, right? So I think it's no different. Uh, of course it's very special. Mm -hmm. So you said rapid fire too, I know, but we like <laughs> elongated it and we had like a lot of things <coughs> here. Please tell us something about sketches of Dar Darshaling. Uh, my first album, mm -hmm. and the sketch of Darling was basically written in, in, in memory of my hometown. And whatever I, I you know, I, I, I was as, as a child, as I grew up seeing and feeling and so it was uh, an ode to the place that I, uh, you know, that gave me so much. Mm -hmm. So it was, yeah. All right. Well, uh, not more, not more. I don't want to question him more. It's time we take this wonderful song. We're going to be right back at Levon, the evening show at six. Levon Serum, the evening show at six. All right, well, Preska is right here, and this show comes to you every day, 6 to 7, and we bring special guests and much more. So here we have Bipul Chetri with us, and we really had a good time. I have asked him a lot of questions, and especially that he's very camera shy, and I'm just glad mm. that you're here. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving your time, and thank you so much for not being camera shy for like few minutes. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm enjoying every moment. All right. Topic uh, alikati abo kosto khalki music tapay rujan un thay na. Ani afuli banal da keri pani like un thani as you said folk songs or koto mixture and everything. How does it work? <coughs> How does it work? Mm. I don't try to uh, sit and write folk songs. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, I mean, I've never really trained into folk music. Oh, yeah. right now. So, uh, when I started writing, it just came about so that it sounded folk at the same time. Uh -huh. And uh, I, uh, so it's, uh, it's probably whatever I've heard I have, as I was growing up in uh, uh, contemporary music and everything else. So I guess it's a mixture of everything else, did bits of everything. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can say probably folk with a contemporary uh, music arrangement. Yeah. All right. Up upcoming days, ma. We really hope to hear much more from Bipul Chitri indeed. You know, to everybody who is watching <coughs> us, because this is your first TV interview. What would you like to say to our viewers? Uh, thank you so much for uh, for tapele uh, Maya Maya Dinu Ani, as I said earlier, I mean, I don't I don't exist without you guys. So. You know, you are as much as important as as much I'm important to you. So, so we both make this thing happen together. Thank you so much. 
both of us saying bye bye for now bye bye take bye. care adios livon serum the evening show at 6 powered by rustlin 100% pure music